Very happy to be joined by Eagle safety Chris Maragos, special teams. What's one aspect of it that you think fans don't think about enough? It's something that's kind of underrated, flying under the radar a little bit. That's a good question. I think just face value, I think so many people think about, you know, just running down the field on a kickoff and, you know, everybody's just running down, you know, with fire in their hair and, you know, just running to wherever the ball goes. I think that's the biggest misconception is, you know, it's just kind of just a free-for-all play. You know, there's there's so many set things, um, you know, things that guys are executing, a lot of techniques. And, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of that stuff kind of gets overlooked a lot of times. What's the most important trait to have if you're going to be a good special teamer? I think I think an inner desire. Yeah. I think you know, there's you know, for me, I didn't really feel. I mean, I felt confident in my game, but not to where I felt like I really mastered it until probably my fourth year. It took took probably that long, as as crazy as that seems. Um, but I think as you kind of get those things and kind of the traits of you know, kind of what it looks like to go down the field and kind of know what you're doing. But I think most importantly, it's it's, it's a desire. Just because on special teams, you know, a lot of times it's just a one on one matchup. You know, yeah. it's, you got to beat this guy and. And I think when you look at another man, you know that I'm not going to be denied, that I'm going to have the will uh, you know, and the desire to go out there and, and execute and make sure that you can't beat me. Um, at the end of the day, that trumps all things in my opinion. Obviously during training camp and, uh, and yeah. during this period, during OTAs and mini camps, uh, you're working with different players on these, all these yep. special teams units. How long does that take to really kind of gel and work together? It does. It, t- it takes time. You know, I think a lot of times, you know, I'm constantly in communication. Maybe, you know, I play more of a, a speed position. So I'm talking to my stack players and I'm saying, hey, listen, you know, if I get this certain look, expect me to do this so that, you know, you can react and, and just know that I'm probably going to do this and that you can go this way or whatever it might be. And so, you know, just kind of, you know, getting that, that feel, that comfort, um, you know, just to be able to kind of play well together. And, and I think, you know, we always talk about, you know, speeding your body up but slowing your mind down. And I think that's the ultimate indicator on special teams is the best guys who can speed their body up and play super fast but slow their mind down to be able to be in such good control. Um, then you can really start putting your body in good positions to make plays.